Hey everyone, uh, welcome to uh, Yukon and North 61. When Cliff Jacobson talks, I listen. Recently, Cliff uh, bragged about this saw by Agawa Canyon. So we're going to look at three saws. First saw is this Baco Pro Cut. And this is very simple. I'll show you how to, what it takes to put this in operation. It's ready. So, very tough saw. It's got this uh, very strong timber uh, type of teeth pattern. Very coarse, very quick. Uh, Kohansky calls this, Morris Kohansky calls that a board saw. Somewhere beyond the sea, that's Bobby Darren. This is Bobby Deustrud. Bobby Deustrud, that's a 24 inch saw. That's 15.34 uh, ounces or 455 grams. All aluminum goodness with brass ribbons. Handmade by Bob Deustrud uh, in the United States. Uh, he's a former uh, pilot from World War II, fighter pilot. And now he spends his time basically making these saws by hand. Bob Deustrud. This is Agua Canyon. It's a made in Canada company. Made in Canada by the company. 1905 ounces. It's a little more heavily built. And we're going to put them together in a second here and show you how they go together. Okay, so this is the Bob Deustrud. Uh, it's pretty simple to put together. Just slide it out. Open it up. Slide in that piece and it snaps together. Classic bow saw. Here's the Boreal 21, so it's kind of similar to Bob. But you put that out, take this across, it doesn't uh, actually leave the saw. A little slot there you put in and you snap that together a little faster. So it's a heavy little spud, it's very heavily made, very rigid. Uh, it's got a fairly small diameter there, or small opening there, bigger there. So it's going to limit the size of wood you can cut. And it's got a 21 inch blade. This blade is a special blade for dry wood. And you can see it's got no rakers. So it should be a little more efficient than a blade with rakers. And you can also get a blade with rakers, which is good for dry and green wood. And you can also get a bone saw, all by the company, all sold, ready to go. Uh, this is the Bob Deustrude. It has a 24 inch blade and a bit more room to cut bigger pieces of wood. And it does have rakers and it's more of an all round blade. Okay, we're going to try this piece of wood since it's, uh, it's even all the way through. This is a treated piece of lumber, should be fairly hard. It's 4x4. Four four. You can see that the Boreal 21 will cut through that with the opening. And let's give it a go. Yeah, that's a nice straight cut. So that's the first cut ever with this guy. Look how accurate the cut is. Yeah, it really holds that rigid. Try Bob. Okay, much crookeder. This is a little easier to move around here. It's not quite as rigid a design, but I have to say, that cut easier. And try board saw. Which did you like best? Um, well, Bob's probably the easiest to use just to get it started. Yeah. And uh, this one is nice and fast, though. Yeah. Fastest yet. 
Maybe because I grew up with one of these old carpenter saws in the old days. I found that the easiest of all to use. So what did we learn? Uh, good saw, just a little bit flexible. That's one of the prices of being thin. For accuracy of cutting, you can't beat this thing because uh, it's very rigid and that keeps this this piece under constant tension. Uh, I found it a little harder to use because of the short length. Uh, I really like the fact that you got different, uh, easily from the same company, you can get different types of blades. Um, so that's a really good all-round saw. Um, good for bone. This is a great light saw. Uh, probably the easiest to pack because of its weight. Uh, this is a heavy little spud at 511 grams. Uh, if you're practice with a carpenter saw, that's hard to beat. We'd have to try a number of different woods to make a really profound kind of decision. I like all these saws. You now have another choice. That's a very tough, strong saw. Very great light saw. And if you can find one of these board saws, that's a very good all-around choice too. I like having all three. Thanks for watching. So out of these three, which is your favorite? Well, uh, this one's definitely the best for a controlled environment like this, but if I was doing like a horizontal cut on a tree and the snow kneeling down, it might be a bit easier to use one of these. Hmm. Good point. So which one of those two would you use? Um, there's advantages to both. Uh, you don't need like the most accurate cut of all time when you're cutting firewood, and uh, they seem to be pretty similar speed, and they're both pretty easy to set up, so yeah, I think they're both pretty good. Which of those two would you choice? I'm going to force you to make a decision. Really? Yeah. Maybe this one just because it's a bit easier to start. I prefer Bob as well. Bob's longer. That length really helps, and also the depth. And even though it's a little not quite as solid, boy, it's hard to beat Bob. We love Bob.